Hi, hello and welcome. Welcome back to another Uncrowd video. Welcome back to another unedited Souls and Survivors video. I thought I was just gonna have a very chill, random ass run. Nothing too crazy to come up. Just, I have not that much time left. I'm gonna record just a clean and nice Soulstone run. Yet again, the game deaths are too quick, too fast. And there is a bunch of new weapons to try out let's see if we can craft one of them although we are probably going to be quite low on some of the crafting materials i believe every single hmm, every single character just got new weapons and we are starting off today with the assassin grenadiers grenadiers whatever you want to call it i don't know i don't care mark oh hi mark damage modifier cast frequency movement speed minus maximum health and it's all about fragility immediately unlock and let's try him out I wonder if there's also a new achievement, but I did not necessarily see something about that quickly. Weapon looks insanely cool though, very nice design there. Singular focus is not what we're looking for, we are still trying to win some runs because that's going to be the most enjoyable to watch. Just a standard old regular rune build. Scorching Sands update. Well then I guess we should play in the Scorching Valley, right? I am wondering if there's also ooh, cool new indicator to indicate which curses are actually active. Let's try to go for a little bit of a bomb build, shall we? Because I think that this, this character and this new weapon is going to be exactly fit for that. Look at that fan of bombs quickly spinning around, spin around, firing bombs in all directions. And we are already seeing the new enemies here. Alright, so I thought the grenade would be like a regular old bomb like we're used to it. And it would just be on the ground, but nothing seems to be further from the truth. It is a projectile that we throw that explodes in someone's face. Awesome. It's kind of, it kind of looks like a long-ranged buckshot, a long-range starting ability of the Hound Master. And as you can see, we have some new starting elements. Elements? Enemies, which are elements of the game, I guess. But you, you get that that's not what I want to say, I think. Starting enemies, even in the first floor, the first level, they're really amping up the progress in these updates lately, because the previous update really didn't drop all that long ago, I think, right? The real question, though, does this update also have... No, I want explosives. Sure, surprise gift. Does this update also have, like, a new event? Is there something around the map that looks a bit weird that doesn't look to be in the right place entirely? Let's look for a second. First of all, let's get rid of some of these elites because I think that, well, we need that early experience to really shine in this run. Damage increase of the surprise gifts. Not really what I'm looking for. I would rather go for a critical hit upgrade because I'm not sure that I'm going to keep the surprise gift throughout the entire run. That's a nice batch of experience. Oh, that's really going to help us out. Uh, avalanche. Is that explosive? It's bomb. So let's go for it. We are kind of... Yeah, let's keep Avalanche. We are kind of combining festive abilities with bomb abilities right now. And our area is already becoming quite massive, which is definitely great. Uh, not really any bombs here. Poison Cloud is not a bomb either. Chaos Bomb is a bomb, I think. I think that's pretty much in the name. Look at the area of effect it has already. We're really already rolling. Let's explore the map a little bit more. And in the meantime... That will help us collect more materials that we need for the other weapons. I think we're gonna be in the great tin shortage of 2023 again. The recession is probably happening, but it's nothing we can't get through. Just pump more into the economy, sell your margarita vills, and then we will all be A-OK. -okay. Reference gotten? Seven respect points. It's quite a well-known South Park episode, I think. How have you guys been doing? I'm doing great. Saturday week is almost over for most people it is probably over already for for me i have one more client later today and like a little hour a little less than an hour so that's why i don't have endless time in this run smoke bomb never seen that before but now we are kind of maybe almost full built after that one client i am probably going home because we're playing padel with the boys tomorrow and while home i'm probably going to spend a whole bunch of time writing reports of the sessions that i've had done this last week because yesterday i had seven clients and if you have seven clients in a day you don't really have time to also we want to actually get rid of anything i don't really like chaos bomb in this build really mm, and i'm thinking about replacing smoke bomb as well but with other bombs 
if you have seven clients in a day it's going to be quite hard to actually still find the time to write any reports at all still right so that's something you will have to do afterwards what is this circle on the ground is that a shadow bomb maybe i guess it is it's cool it's a cool looking ability and stuff maybe it's even one of the new abilities and that's why i haven't seen it yet but it's not really what i'm looking for right now magnetic never hurt nobody a little bit faster upgrades a little lag spike there as well if i do get done in time with actually writing those reports i'll probably spend some time reading at home maybe updating my motivational letter for the therapy education a little bit more maybe already sending it in who knows but i mean it's still quite a hard decision to make on how i'm exactly gonna do that but i still have some time deadline is only by the end of april so that gives me like four months right that's how time works jesus christ holy shit our revive just almost got popped or i mean well the health the health of our health bar just got removed we need to remember that we are playing on quite a high on quite a high curse level so that this is really no joke that we can just dash into like we just did two times in a row I want to shadow step. No, that's not a new ability. We've seen that before for sure. Multicast. Very, very handy when it comes to a bomb build. Bomb builds are kind of a little scaling build, I think. Although you would assume, right, like a bomb, a big explosive, a big boom. You would assume that that would, right from the get-go, right from the early game, be a little bit strong already. I don't see it as the case. Vicious Strikes. Yeah, I think Vicious Strikes is going to be helpful. And Gangrene. It's also definitely going to be helpful. Was it called Gangrene? Yeah, it was. I think that now, now we're onto something. I don't want Explosive Trap. I want something I can throw. Ooh, the Synergetic abilities are coming in, so our damage is definitely going to start amping up, ramping up. All of them in a row. Don't mind if I do. We already have Venomous, right? Yes, so maybe some more maximum health is warranted because we are taking some hits this run. Don't really need any of these sure let's go for a little bit more doom upgrade we don't have spontaneous combustion yet so that's something we also definitely still needed damage increase yeah sure it's not something we'll usually go for but for once it won't matter all that much we have picked up the gems from the bosses right or one from one of the bosses yeah that's why we got that many levels little healing crystal up here and the next set of lords is already here damn they are not giving me any breathing room and that's okay because it means that we are killing at the random monsters on the side quite quickly actually so that's something to be proud of something to be grateful for just like i am grateful for the nice quiz i had last night it was fun it was a bit archaic no music fragments the only game question they ask is fortnite which is kind of like almost the case at every single trivia quiz you go to because a lot of people just don't know about the specific intricacies that the gaming world has to offer when it comes to trivia questions and all in all it was just like this very old presenter in a very old room very old audio equipment the questions were a bit old as well the pictures they used were ooh, it could have gone for Price gift avalanche area effect yeah sure i could have gone for the bomb arch or whatever it was right there as a replacement for the smoke bomb I think we are still looking for a replacement for smoke bomb hypothermia is also nothing to sneeze at i think now we are almost at all of the synergetic abilities except for thermal shock i think we're still missing that one we don't really deal that much damage to lords we get rid of the small monsters quickly but the lords oh maybe this will change it up a little bit minefield not exactly what i'm looking for multicast exactly what i'm looking for let's try and stay a bit up and close and personal to these lords if we can so that our avalanche can also really hit another damage upgrade for that these monsters look a bit scary but i am sure we will just be able to make quick work of them the rest of the weekend just going for that Pavel game I told you about. Maybe going for a little run, but I'm not sure about it. Reading. Writing reports. I think that's going to be like the main gist of what my weekend is going to be like. Nothing too crazy. So more area effect. Even our avalanche is really about to be covering half screens. Blade storm is not really what we're looking for in this build. Give me more area effect, please. And of course the area effect upgrades make it so that we are very very much capable of killing all the small monsters on screen. 
but they don't really help us with the lords maybe they help us like damage the lords a little bit more often than we normally would because our area reaches them a bit more often but it doesn't increase the ex increase the actual damage there we go though second to last set of lords already is that true is that the case no we still have this what this is the true holy shit i have an aneurysm right now please call 911 this is the third set of lords so we have two sets of lords remaining after this don't know what happened there might need to get that checked out but don't worry i will have such a large backlog that even while i am in hospital i will still provide i do think i want to actually go for either one of those i think i'm gonna go for bomb barrage and replace smoke bomb i want something more active i want more bombs to be dropped not just like a passive field of debuffs right i want them to really really feel the explosions feel the burn and i'm not talking about being impl impacted by bernie sanders political campaign no i want them to actually feel the bombs how is our damage looking hmm all right all right there's it's it's coming up oh i want the world to know there's definitely something here we're developing something we're taste testing it we're kind of fine-tuning it a little bit but it is definitely becoming something to be thankful for in the world do we already have frailty yes we do some more max health i think we need to make the sensible decision there and not just go for more damage because it's fun uh, increase your critical damage modifier sure why not Let's see if we get one or two more great hits in there both lords will meet their demise beautiful stuff am i also going to be gaming in the weekend mm, not sure it's on my laptop then which can handle some things but it can't handle them well it's kind of like your mother with my boss <laughs> i'm so sorry um i can play like a little minecraft maybe maybe one league of legends game before i get annoyed about the fps and the quality and stuff but all in all i will probably also just be watching a whole bunch of youtube videos i still have to catch up on northern lines big ambitions videos i still have to catch up on the latest afremu meteos well meteos and sneaky broadcast but afremu has recently joined the battle introduced a little um, super mario smash brothers animation meme there and he is one of my favorite League content creators as well, because he is very real, very down-to-earth, very chill. And he has a lot of game knowledge because he has been in the game for quite a long time. I feel like him and Bjergsen and maybe Doublelift as well are some of the players that have been in the LCS and in the professional scene for the longest. Although I'm not completely sure that Aftermu is a professional player still. I just love his input when it comes to the LCS rebroadcast or the LCS watch party. A little more critical damage never hurt nobody. We don't want any of these. Sure, we'll go for another magnetic upgrade, even though we're already near the end of the run, so we don't really do that much anymore. But it seemed like the best option out of three mediocre options. One set of lords to go, and then we will be free. We will be free from this prison. This prison that is the Souls on Survivors run. Although it's not a prison, it's something I voluntarily got into and it's something I definitely love being in. Love recording this game because it's so easy and it's so simple. And sometimes things in life are allowed to be easy and simple, right? It's rare. It's rare for, it's rare for things to be easy and simple. So when you meet something, when you discover something, when something comes on your path that is actually this simple and easy for you, go for it. By all means, enjoy it savor those moments and really be satisfied with how beautiful life can be and how it doesn't always have to be a battle it doesn't always have to be a struggle although i am struggling for a little bit against these new enemies that spawn at the 10th minute because they seem to spawn a lot of tornadoes which is really cool but quite hard to dodge although we made quick work of them in the end still what are we looking at 40 more enemies and then facing our final peril well, not really our peril because we won't go down under because of it. But we will definitely succeed and be victorious. I think so at least. I hope so. It's come to pass recently quite often that I believe to be in control of my run. And then all of a sudden the universe is like Thanos snaps me out of existence. So I'm not going to say it with too much surety in my heart. 
But I did pick a lot of maximum health upgrades during the upgrades. And I am doing a lot of damage because they are so stacked up to each other right now. So I think that we are actually in the clear. A nice and successful bomb build. I realized, or I remember rather, that the first time we succeeded with this character, with the assassin, a character I normally struggled with, was also with a bomb build, right? So it's nice to go back to our roots and find a successful build in this archetype again. Just an enjoyable run in general. Very chill. Nothing too crazy in terms of needed gameplay mechanics. No, we could just fight for a little bit. And there we go. Heading straight out of here. Beautiful stuff. I'm quickly gonna check whether there is... Ooh, some new UI elements, I think. I'm quickly gonna check whether there are some other new achievements as well for new things to do. Uh, we are missing a couple. We are missing a couple of achievements. Is it some prestige levels or what is it about? What are they about? Here we go. Oh, craft the new weapons. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six... Plus three and plus three. Yeah, sadly, that's all of them. Well, I mean, sadly, it is... Oh, we can just do this as well. It is kind of understandable. Kind of understandable that they can't always add completely new things to the game, right? Sometimes they need to slow down as well a little bit. Necromancer upgrade. Next time, Plague Rats looks cool as hell. Let's look at it in the next video. And then we will probably be playing on the final map to farm some more tin because that seems to be the bottleneck again as expected thank you very much for watching hope to see you in the next one hope you have a nice weekend even though this will probably not be uploaded near a weekend at all bye bye